Hello everybody, I am Shepples and welcome to Shepples Reviews Anguish Tree. Anguish Tree is an indie horror game created by Happy Frankenstein and is the third and last game in the Anguish series. And today the last game that was created by Happy Frankenstein. The game, like the previous two titles, were created using the FPS creator. And takes place after the events of the second game where the protagonist, John, is attempting to reach the light in what can only be assumed to get out of a coma or return to life. In order to do this, you must travel through a series of levels and mazes, defeating or avoiding enemies along the way, reaching the end of each level, pretty similar to that of the previous titles. Despite this being the third game in the series, that developer has yet again continued to make the same mistakes that were made in the previous two. First off, the levels there's no real setting, nor any kind of logical sense in the level design. One minute you could be in a maze, the next a long and windy corridor, and then in a level with water. It feels you're just being thrown into these levels, which make no sense for no apparent reason other than the fact that it is what you have to do, leaving each level feeling very empty and unsatisfying. The enemies within the game don't really make much sense in any shape or form, and one in particular puzzles me, and it's actually the first enemy that you have to face. It is simply just a black humanoid figure that holds a glaive weapon, the glaive being an FPS creator sci-fi weapon that is actually a grenade. The enemy doesn't attempt to throw the weapon, but instead you gain damage from the enemy when it gets within a certain proximity of you. You can then pick up the enemy's glaive once it is dead, but its damage is pretty useless and doesn't even come close to killing an enemy that you throw it at. The other enemies are pretty straightforward, most of which were in the previous titles, such as two different zombie types of enemies and others. On the plus side, the game doesn't have those slowdowns and lag spikes that the previous titles gave, but apart from that, there is little to say in the way of improvement to that of the other titles. At the end of the day, the game is still just like the previous titles, a level by level shooting game that levels make no sense and are horribly designed. The one thing I will praise with level design is the first level, which appeared pretty well thought out in the form of a maze, but after that it just felt like each level was just put together for no reason and you were back playing the previous titles. The game also has no ammo counter, and at first I thought that you had infinite ammo, but it turns out that you could run out with no way of getting more ammo. There could have been a bug of some sort, but it is one that pretty much ruins the game, and along with that it does have a habit of crashing from time to time. At the end of the day, it is a really boring game, just level after level killing things with little story and one that could crash or bug out on you at any time. It is the best out of the trilogy, but still far from being a great game, and for that I'll give it a 3 out of 10. If you'd like to try out the game for yourself, it can be downloaded from the developers forums along with the previous titles also being available from the forums also. I will put the link in the video description below for the download if you'd like to try it out. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed the video and as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you and have fun.